Hey guys, it's Danand here, and I'm going to be showing you a add-on tutorial, something new I've not done before, and this is for a friend as he doesn't understand it. So, here we go. The add-on I'm going to be doing today is Bartender 4, pretty common add-on for everyone to use, and it's fairly easy to set up, um, but you got a lot of customization with it. So, I'm only doing this for one character here because most of them all use it. I disabled it on him, but we're going to go ahead and enable it. That's over on the add-on section, section in the bottom left. Make sure you're loading all out of date add-ons just in case your bartender is out of date. And then we're going to rock on over to our character. So what bartender is, is basically action bars where you can get rid of the original Blizzard action bar and set anything you want in that kind of way. So let's do it. Really. So what we've got first, we've got to see this little thing up in the map area. It's our tooltip, little tooltip button, and it's just a, um, a mug of beer because you're a bartender. Now, as you can just did two different things, left click here, it shows all the action bars you've got on your character at that moment. You can click and drag, you know, simple stuff. So, this is if we would have activated all the bars um, previously on the regular options screen, we would have gotten, you know, um, le bottom left bar, bottom right bar, and then two side bars. And that's a typical Blizzard thing, and you can move them around. Um, but we're going to lock that for now because we're going to go over into right click bartender and we can see all our different bars so we want to be organized here and I'm just going to go from the bottom here and I saw bar 6 was enabled so just click it and see bar 5 is enabled as well so just clear it up make it so it's only the correct bars that you want but we're going to go ahead and disable all of them except from bar 1 and bar 2 making it really clean right now so it's really going to go be a hassle free way um, we've got bar snapping on because bar snapping just it means you can kind of get closer and doesn't overlay, does it really nice and well. So we've got a pet bar here, we're going to do it as a personal save for this class. I feel like I'm going to get killed by that character. Um, I should probably go hide inside. That would probably be a good idea right now. I'm going to chill about here while the zoo die. So we've got our bar 1, our micro menu and bag bar. So let's just separate everything. That's your blizzard art bar. As you're going to be using this, you're not really going to want that, so that's Blizzard Art Bar down here. Just disable it. There we go. So it's already taking up a lot less space here. So let's talk about our micro menu first. Um, with the micro menu, you've got it down here. You don't need it huge. You can disable it if you learn well, but I'd keep it. Just use your scale thing over here, and you can separate, you know, you can basically shrink it down. Or you can use your padding to pad out the actual buttons themselves further away. Um, I can't remember what it was on originally, I think it was on like 1 or something. Sorry about that. Um, so we scaled it down so it's you know nice and small, not too small so you can't see anything. Now I've got our action bar, extra action bar, and our pet bar. So these are the end also vehicle and bag. So these are basic stuff. We keep the bag bar as a single one just because it's nice and easy. And you got your vehicle bar. So you need, these are mainly three you need. You're not going to really use the pet bar but it's nice to set up. Um, as this will be a monk only one, we shall say we'll talk about presets in a while but I shall set this actually you, know, you need a pet bar as there's sometimes you know pet you have a pet it sounds crazy but you do have a pet sometimes so how many action bars are we going to need that's something we've got to figure out before we do this you want to imagine your design you've got a picture it in your head how I usually have it I th I'm thinking for this monk possibly just a two bar deal we only need two bars really so bring those two down one is considerably smaller than the other let's have a look why that's because the padding on bar 1 is 6. That's quite a lot of padding, so... Throw it down to 2, you can see it shrinks a hell of a lot. And now they are equal size. So that's nice and small down right at the bottom of there. I do have an add-on called Quartz, which will be a cast bar, which I would want to leave room for. Um, as you've got to imagine here with all your different things, there are extra things, so extraction bars do have surrounding things there. Um, so we've got our basically our buttons there. Um, pet bar, probably put that above. Might want to just throw this extra action bar right here. Make it all nice and cozy, you know. You want to be able this is wow, you want to be able to see your screen. You don't want to be looking at your action bar and tunneling into that. It's not a fun thing to be doing. So a good looking action bar will, you know, possibly improve the game for you. If you're not one of the people who care about that, then you might not. Um this I vehicle bar doesn't really bother me actually where it goes. Um I would like to have probably that kind of stuff here. Stance bar generally I put it in a typical place just over the left of it. And vehicle bar and bag if we can shrink the bag bar down here. So scale down the bag bar to about there. 
you know you know what it is you know if you press B you see your bag simple as that and vehicle bar just keep them nice and separate there and that's basically it for the positioning you've got you obviously you've got more rows so if we look at bar one you can have 12 rows or you can have so you have 12 buttons so it's basically saying to you do you want your action bar to be a box or do you want it to be line horizontal or vertical I'm going to show you a little extra thing here we're going to go for bar 3 this is going to be my um, fuck about bar I, I always have one of these it's where I keep mounts and other things and as we've got 12 bars like this I want to half that really make it 6 actually 6 is a bit tall it's 2 by that so maybe Oops. Okay, we can shrink the pan down as well to one. The one's a good pan to use. And I believe that is a pretty close to uh, where I want it to be. You can then be really picky now and you can level it up. But I'm actually changing my mind if I want three rows. There we go. Well, three rows. So I believe it's then three by four. Change my mind again. I want four. I don't know, I like it when it's a bit more vertical and horizontal. So that's basically it. That is moving our action bar. We now have all the buttons in place. We can lock that down. And presets we want to go into. Profile. This is my Danbrew existing profile. You want to keep it as that. That is now going to be that. Um, as you see, <laughs> we now have like literally nothing there. Um, I do have some key bindings from other characters here, such as B5, Shift B5. That means that that's over there. Um, no problem with this, as you're going to use different ones. So you once again got to go into right click this key bindings. This is our next stage. Um, as it's different, want to go character specific. And this is where you're literally going to spend your time and you're going to go over all your key bindings, make sure they're exactly how you want them to be. Um, it may require you to do just left click this so you can actually see, you know, what kind of bar it is. You might want to separate them out first, lock them back, and then you can obviously see, okay, this is a different set. What I recommend for this is possibly throw in just one ability into every spot so you can just see where they are, get a feel for it, and then sort out your action buttons. I use, you know, so I'd use shift 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I believe you use shift 6, and then it gets real confusing, like, uh, I don't know if I use shift 7, but shift G. To clear them, you just escape, nice and simple. So, uh, oh, don't want B5. 7, not sure about 7 yet. So that'd be Shift G, so that's Control G, Control F, Control R, Control C, and Control Spacebar. And I'm just left with Shift, ah, oh, fuck it, put Shift 7. And that's that action ball actually sorted now. So, regardless of where anything goes, it goes in there. And then I can be real picky over here, clear out all these ones here. Just clear them all out of escape. That's all it takes. Just hover over and press escape. Now you got to find out where they are. So, B5, Shift B5. Oh, don't do it. There we go. Control B5. Um, this is my mouse button, so I'm using. So, it's just as simple as you know, hovering over it and pressing all the buttons that you want at once. It doesn't use modifiers. Um, well, it will use modifiers, but it will not show the modifiers until you press the actual button. So don't worry about having to press every one at the exact same time. It'll do it anyway. But Hope you guys found that useful. That is basically what this is. Key bind that, lock it now. It's character specific now, so it will not be the same other characters, but you can now bring over that action bar to other characters. Um, I will show you just now how to do that. So we are rocking a we're rocking our own existing profile here. You can just take, say, Bano PvP. It's nothing but it's got different key bindings. Um who do I want to take over? Let's look at PvP. So if you look at PvP here, left click that, you can see this is one I use for most characters. It's got, you know, shift and control tab would be here, and it's got a quartz area. It's all a little bit different, and it's just personally how I use it. But that is basically it, but I just don't want to use that. I want to be back to these characters one. I find it in the list, a lot of them. And you can save them as different ones that you want it to be. Ah, wrong character. I was, I was right, Danbrew. This is another one I use. Um, that was an old one I used to use. But, oh well. And Danbrew, that's the character. There we go. 
So that is basically it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it really helped you out and now that you know how to use this, go ahead and make it a cool looking action bar. You can make buttons freaking huge, I do that, I have big oh shit buttons, you know, it's nice to have them there too. Also, you know, big cooldowns, I like to keep my cooldowns on F1 to F5, have them there a bit bigger. But do whatever you want with it guys, that is the basics of it and that is exactly how you use it. Hope this was informative and you can now go and do it all yourself. Peace.